Sophie and Antoni, who are the owners of Baltic, husband and wife team, and their son Matt is also a cook here in the kitchen. And Sophie, you're going to show me how to make pierogies? All right, great. Do you want to try to cut it out? Okay, I'll try. You gotta line it up here. Okay. And then just push and twist. <laughs> it's in the wrist. But I go bowling, it's in the wrist, right? Okay, here we go. And twist? Yes. You made your first program. Okay, you take it out, okay. Good. Hey, I made Good. a pierogi. All right, so Matt's gonna show us the finished product. All right, so as you could tell, I don't know if you at home could tell, but I can tell the one that you made it's the one that they're close to all right there. That's nice because you're supposed to make pierogies perfect on the first try, right, Matt? Absolutely. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat it then. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Because I love pierogies a lot. So. What kind of cheese is that? Farmer's cheese. That's really good. So let's go out to a table. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna take this cookie okay. off the table. We're gonna go see what else Matt uh, makes here in the kitchen. Okay, bye. Agnes, what is your perspective on Baltic? Um, it's a family restaurant, and uh, every time I come here, I feel, feel like I'm at home, and I love the food and uh, feel comfortable. That's Baltic. I think she's pretty much summed it all up. <laughs> yeah. In addition to having full bar service, Baltic also has several Polish beers, and I see here there's five different beers, Matt. Well, today we're going to be trying what is called Womja, and my parents are from about 40 miles away from the brewery. Okay. So this is this is our local beer for my family. So we're gonna try this. All right. And when we toast in Polish, what do we say? Na zdrowie. And na zdrowie. Mmm. That's good. Polish food is a lot more than those delicious pierogies we tasted in the kitchen. Matt, could you introduce us to all these beautiful dishes here? It would be my pleasure. Okay. Over here we have a roast beet salad which is mixed greens tossed in roast beets, farmer's cheese, pistachios, and uh, carrot vinaigrette. Over here we have uh, pickled herring, which is a staple of Polish cuisine. This is what we call a Baltic platter, which is an assortment of in-house smoked and cured meats. This over here is what we call in Polish straze, or in English beef rolads, which is beef wrapped in bacon, carrots, onions, and pickles uh, on top of a bed of buck uh, buckwheat, which is how how it's served traditionally in Poland, but here you could have mashed potatoes, potato pancake. This is our most popular dish, the Dinsk special. It comes with three pierogies, kielbasa, sauerkraut, potato pancakes, and a stuffed cabbage. This is a German influence to Polish cuisine, a Viennese style schnitzel. We have uh, freshly baked bread, and for dessert we have a uh, crepe with whipped cream and strawberries. So when people come and have a private event, do they order some of the similar dishes shown here? Uh, for, you can, for the most part, but we have specially tailored menus that we do for weddings and different uh, smaller events such as christenings, uh, bar mitzvahs, uh, bridal showers, and birthday parties and stuff like that. Seems to me that if you come to a party at Baltic, you need to come very hungry because selection is not only delicious, it's so colorful that it's gonna make you wanna take a bite of everything on here. And the one thing I really wanna try that I have an affinity towards is freshly baked bread. Okay. Yeah, so could you cut right. me a piece? Absolutely. All right. And I actually found out when Matt and I were talking during the break that Polish weddings can run 12 hours. And they often have Polish weddings here and people know how to party. So I can see why you need to eat party food. You dance, have a drink, then eat some more. Sounds like a nice thing to me. It's our culture. <laughs> So here I'm going to try a piece of the bread that they actually make in-house here at Baltic. Because they design the restaurant themselves, they actually have a whole separate kitchen downstairs where they do smoking, they do baking, everything is made right here on premises. It's good, right? This is really good, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for introducing us to all of these delicious Polish foods. It's been my pleasure. And as you can see, again, Polish food is way more than pierogies. Yes. <laughs>